Welcome to my first tutorial on animating in Flash CS4. We're going to take this vector graphic. Um, there's a surfer on there. We're going to make him move a little bit and show you um, some cool animation here. So, first of all, I'm going to take the surfer and I'm going to right click on this first keyframe. He's on the first layer. And we're going to do a classic tween. Um, there's a little bit of a nuance in the motion tween. Uh, with Flash CS4, I'll show you that in another tutorial, but we're going to do this the classic way. Um, I'm going to take him, I'm going to put him, say, in the area over here, but I'm also going to take the properties tool here, and we're going to lower down the alpha to make him disappear. And then let's say frame 45, we're going to press F6 here, and I'm going to move him over here and bring up the alpha. And as you see, he's right there. He's surfing along. But now what I'm going to do is take um, my second layer here. I'm going to create a new layer. I'm going to right click on this. And now it's a mask. Now masking in Flash um, works like this. We're going to create a shape. And we're going to take it and hide the image. And then reveal it. So first what I want to do is just create my shape. And it's going to be a big circle. Let me just come out here so I can see it better. Now this circle needs to be animated as well. So we're going to take this and create a motion tween for it. And we'll put a keyframe here on 45, um, 45th frame. But now what we're going to do is we're going to modify and transform this um, this shape. And I'll explain why in two seconds. And I'm going to move it right here. So the viewer is not going to see the shape. But what's going to happen is that this shape is going to reveal the um, background image you see right now. So when I do this, the viewer is actually seeing... Um, this background being revealed and as the shape gets bigger to cover everything um, it shows everything it's a little bit backwards um, you know way of thinking that the shape is covering it and the person sees it but in understanding how you how you see the animation um, it's probably the easiest way to describe this so now what I'm going to do is lock this and hide the um, mass so so you can't see it and I'm going to reveal my background Another trick with animating in Flash is um, oversizing certain images to give the viewer a different perspective of the Flash animation. If the, this container itself, if I hide the background, um, the document size is smaller than the background image. That way when I take this background image, and I'll come out here just to show you a little bit better, it's going to pass through like the sky is moving. And the people, um, the person viewing the um, animation, can't tell how big the background image is. So I'm going to take this background, and we're going to create another motion tween. And this time I'm going to go to frame 200, F6. And in the properties, we're going to lower down um, on our x-axis, so it passes through. Now everything is set. It looks like we have a nice animation here. And one more thing we need to do is add our action script so the movie actually stops. So on the last keyframe here, go to Windows Actions. file publish now it looks like the surfer came in too early for my liking and everything else looks nice but let's close this out and I'm gonna go back to my animation and all we have to do to make the surfer go in a little bit later, because we want the, the middle image to reveal itself, 
but the surfer needs to come in a little bit later. So let's take this keyframe and drag it along here. Right when the image is revealed at 45. I'm going to go to File, Publish. How about that for animation? I think that's pretty cool. Thank you for watching my tutorial on animating Flash CS4. I hope you guys found it helpful. And if you like this video, I'm sure you like my other videos. Click that yellow button and leave comments. See you later.